Guys, so I wanted to do a quick video about strikes. Uber, Lyft, DoorDash striking on any platform, on any gig economy platform. Um, and why I think it will not work right now. Um, I was just talking to a newer driver about it. He was like, man, yeah, everybody should just go ahead and strike because, you know, um, he basically coming off the low board and he, he, he knew something wasn't right, but right now he's in a predicament where he has to drive Uber and Lyft. Um, you know, I told him about Empower too, but I won't say he's a newer driver. Let's, yeah, he's been driving almost a year now, but he's seen a little price cut um, when they introduced the uh, upfront pricing on both apps. Uh, and I was telling him, look, that's not even the first price cut. They've been cut prices. You know, it used to be super easy to get $200 on Lyft over. Like you could, you knew you was coming out getting $200. You was thinking about $300 for that day, $400. But um, I see Rideshare Professor, uh, one of the people, called for a strike the 23rd through the 26th. Um, basically, you know, the airport time, Thanksgiving, and people coming back from the airport. Um, that should have been called months ahead, months ahead of time. Um, main reason, I will say this, 70% of drivers is driving Uber and Lyft right now don't have the backup funds to skip the, that crucial day of Thanksgiving or the day before Thanksgiving or Black Friday. They they just don't have the funds. Um, a lot of people in rental cars right now. Uh, the holiday season, people got kids. Uh, that's, that, that's just valuable money right now. Rent about to come up. That's valuable money right now that they're missing out on. Um, the drivers don't have the coins like ride share professor and i will say this i've been following his page for years now i did see how he took uber and made it into something else you know he had the black service he started doing contract rides uh the xl i i seen him put in the work so now i see other youtubers saying oh he don't even drive no more blah 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 he puts it he put in the work and he still you know, got his ears to the to the streets. Let's just say that he still got his ears to the streets. And um, I feel as though he could still talk about Uber and Lyft and DoorDash. Like right now, he's trying to help the guy Uber Phoenix and stuff. So me, me personally, I feel as though he has all the right to organize a strike. But I think it, that I know that that could have been a little organized better. Um, months ahead to actually give it would have worked even if even if uh 50 60 percent of drivers wasn't out on thanksgiving trust me it, it, it would have they would have felt something they would have felt something i mean they would have felt something because you know the the, the times would have got higher um that would have actually helped me out to be honest with you on in power uh but everybody don't have that app but i have no complaints about them but if you guys striking for uber and lyft you know that would have been that would have been a perfect day but like i said it should have been called a little earlier to have a, a lot of the drivers fully prepared um now, it would have been some drivers out there had seen that surge and, you know, still would have drove, but customer base wouldn't have had the access to five-minute pickup times. They, their pickup times would have been like 15, 20 minutes, you know, pickup times and stuff. That, that would have threw off the algorithm and stuff with uh, Uber and Lyft, and they would have had a, you know, cut off there because we all know they throttle and surge in prime time they they got that thing on throttle right now they we all know we they got control of that so um that's my outlook of things man uh if a strike was to happen it would have to be planned months in the head uh, especially for you know just the regular smaggler drivers man i mean 
gig tubers, a lot of gig tubers that, you know, do the gigs, they, you know, they got the extra income to miss Thanksgiving a day or two. You know, they got the extra income. Um, but the regular smuggler drivers, mm -mm, they ain't missing that money. So um, without a surefire plan, yes, it would have been uh, three days of hurting, but it could have possibly turned into something greater. All right, guys, till next time.